the surprising newest addition to the U.S. military's fleet. Jet skis look wonderful in espionage flicks, but they have some significant disadvantages when used in the military. They are bothersome on a battleship, which must find a secure location to store their fuel because they are noisy gas guzzlers. Jet skis for elite SEAL teams will look and sound different in the future. The Defense Innovation Unit and the manufacturer of electric jet skis, Tempest, announced to Defense One that they have signed an agreement to support military research into electric jet skis that can be transformed into autonomous drones. Nico Cell, a founding member of the encrypted messaging service Wicker, is the creator of the Tempest Maverick GT Ski. Cell, an enthusiastic surfer and sports fan, founded her new business in part to make a jet ski she could feel good about using. Her electric jet ski also addresses a number of issues that have typically discouraged the usage of personal watercraft by the military. In addition to GPS waypoints, the Maverick can be equipped with a number of sensor suites for autonomous operation, including sonar, radar, cameras, and lidar. Quote, the auspice under which we're operating is electric search and rescue, said Douglas French, a program manager at the Defense Innovation Unit, which is assisting the military in acquiring an undefined number of jet skis. But according to French, electric surface ships could be valuable for resupply and other purposes. The idea is that the less gasoline we burn, say when we start talking about contentious logistics, the better. The electrification of many types of vehicles is being investigated by the American military. According to French, such cars have the potential to streamline not only fuel logistics, but also internal combustion engine maintenance expenses and downtime. According to him, electrical vehicles are more reliable in theory and have simpler mechanical designs that don't call for additional lubrication. The maintenance, fuel economy, and integration tests that will start this winter in California, according to French, should pave the way for later tests of autonomy. Quote, Nico and her team have already created a number of use cases, and we are finding out about more. So maybe we'll be able to broaden our testing and just conduct additional experiments to actually determine our capabilities and scope. The roles of jet skis in the military in the past. Have you ever wondered how the Navy would quickly remove injured special operators from an enemy beach? One of the riskiest operations one could imagine is making it off an exposed beach intact while being fired upon. It calls for quick thinking and complete trust in the people and equipment involved. Perhaps surprisingly, commercially available water scooters, which resemble the personal watercraft used by water sports enthusiasts throughout the globe, are the preferred option among special forces. The affection of the lowly jet ski, which they refer to even in official documents, among Naval Special Warfare Command has long gone unnoticed. However, they are increasingly appearing in the public domain more frequently. The Navy published images of special operations soldiers using jet skis in Greece in 2017 and with Thai forces in June during Exercise Tempest Wind 2019. U.S. Special Operations Command most recently requested three jet skis to replace worn out ones from training. The Naval Special Warfare Basic Training Command in San Diego, California will use them to train future Special Warfare Combatant Craft Crewmen, or SWCC who would drive small boats for the U.S. Navy SEALs. The benefits of jet skis include their speed and agility, as well as their ability to operate in very shallow water, even through a surf zone and to a beach. Their primary duty is to remove special troops, but they can also be deployed to rescue victims, capture captives, recover downed pilots, or carry out counter-terrorism operations. They can be transported by larger boats to the scene of the fight, or for long-range clandestine missions in the hangar of a covert SEAL insertion, observation, and neutralization unit, or Sea Lion. These swift stealth boats partially submerge to further lessen their radar fingerprints because they are semi-submersible. Water scooters are not only valued by the U.S. Navy. Other NATO Special Forces units also have them in their arsenal. The Yamaha FX Cruiser Show is the Navy's preferred model. However, 
Many other nations employ a wide range of rival models. The two or three seat jet skis used by the Navy are heavily modified, equipped with inflatable anti-roll collars and rescue sleds, and can tow equipment or special forces behind them. The crew may, of course, be armed, and machine guns may be installed to aid in suppressing hostile positions. The Iranian IRGC, or Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, uses water scooters with rocket-propelled grenades in the Persian Gulf to conduct reconnaissance and launch bothersome operations against commercial vehicles. New variations of the jet ski have been created at Softworks, a Florida-based innovation facility that offers U.S. Special Operations Command rapid prototyping of prospective solutions, because special forces are constantly experimenting with new concepts and technologies. A submersible personal watercraft that can function like a standard jet ski on the surface while hiding beneath the waves was tested earlier this year. This might make it possible to launch and recover it from a submarine, a capability that no Navy currently possesses.